Alhamisi hii ya 24 mwezi Februari 2022 mie ni melody sinzore mama polisi the standard Tarifa hizi basi tayari unazo tena unazotele uhuru why it cannot be ruto Soma kikamilifu katika ukurasa wa 4 wa 6 na wa 7 picha ile yako hapo ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amenyanyua mikono yake juu ile ya kusarenda ile ya kusoma mm, mm, mm. ah siwezi Amezungumza kuhusu Raila na amezungumza kuhusu Ruto Ntanuku. Anasema hivi support Raila. A man seated can see very far compared to a lad on a tree. I choose to sit with Raila. If Ruto mends his ways, we may support him in future. Eh? Anasema mzee akiketi bado anaona mbali zaidi ya kijana aliyesimama hata juu ya mti. Na akasema iwapo uh, iwapo na Ibrahim William Ruto atanyosha mienendo yake, basi kuna uwezekano watampashavu nyakati za baadaye. Akazungumza kwa usuruto, akasema you cannot give us huge amounts of dubious money and then tell us which way to go while carrying the Bible. You are the one who will go to hell. Maneno ya rais kwa naibu rais William Ruto. Hapo hapo tu kwa naibu rais William Ruto ukura sawa nane, Ruto cleared to visit the UK and United States. Eh? Sasa hivi kile kibano kimeondolewa kwa hivyo naibu rais William Ruto anaweza kazuru zake Marekani pamoja na Uingereza. Ukurasa wa nane soma uelewe ni lipi lilikuwa limetokea mpaka kapata kibano kile. Katika ukurasa wa moja nikikamilisha gazeti la The Standard msikilizaji hapa kuna taarifa kama ulifikiri kuhubiri ni wito ni wito lakini kama unalipwa pia unafaa kulipa. Church order to pay cleric for wrongful sacking. A court has ruled that the Anglican Church of Kenya (ACK) yalmarufu tunaita hapa Nairobi Diocese Bishop Joel Wawero erred in sacking a vicar nine years ago. Sasa unaambiwa lazima huyu mhubiri aliyefutwa wa kanisa hili la ACK alipwe kwa sababu alifutwa wrongfully hakufutwa kama inavyopaswa na atalipwa pesa ngapi? 1842 shilingi 912 for unfair termination as a curate at St Peter's Church in Kahawa Sukari eh pia hawa wanaotulisha neno la Mungu mkiwafuta ovyo kuna wale ambao wanaweza kwenda mahakamani na mkawalipa ukurasa wa 11 taarifa hizo kamilifu daily nation ina hayo ya sagana 3 my deputy is unfit to rule ameitambua sana melody sitazamia sana lakini Daily Nation wanafuata fuata hayo ya sagana. Pengine tu kwa msamiati tofauti ukurasa wa 4 na tano. Lakini katika rejoinder ama katika kujibu ukurasa ni wa sita. You have neglected Mount Kenya. Ruto always tell uhuru. Wanasema sema usemayo, lakini kubali kwamba watu wako wa mlima Kenya walitarajia mengi lakini umewaangusha. Wachana na Ruto kwanza ungewaambia kwa nini umewaangusha soma ukurasa eh wa sita gazeti la daily nation speaking on the campaign trail in makwene and machakos uda politicians accuse the president of lying about saving the agriculture sector and bringing down the cost of living and insist that a raila presidency is untenable wamesema mm, mm, mm. <laughs> tuambie tu kweli wacha na mambo mengi Hayo ni ya siasa za 2022. Tuingie kidogo tu gharama ya maisha. Sikiza ukurasa wa 14 Daily Nation. Why you'll pay more for your plate of rice? Kwamba wale mnapenda mchele. <laughs> the cost of this popular meal is expected to rise in the coming days due to high production cost. Wakulima huko Mwea wanasema mchele mtakula sana kwa gharama. Eh mungoje haitakuwa rahisi eh ukurasa wa 14 alafu ukurasa wa nyuma masuala ya elimu kupet pia wametoa ilani ya mgomo kupet issue strike notice in pay dispute in a move that could derail the start of national exams next week kupet accuses tsc of ignoring its 21 ultimatum and failing to table a counter offer to proposal detail in a signed agreement kwamba TC imekataa kusalimu amri na kuwasikiza hawana lingine huenda wakagoma juma lijayo walimu okay. mtiani unafaa kuanza tena wa kitaifa KCSE na KCPE ilikuwa bia wanajua tu kugoma hapo karibu na exams 
wanasema walipeana 21 notice eti hakuna mtu anawaita tisie waiti waambie okay mnataka hii lakini tuko na hii hata hata waongeleshwe na hawa tagoma hizo so, waliongezewa siku za ku nini kwa nyumbani ukiza kwani watu wote wanataka matana tilifu si kila mtu anaenda matana si pia inajaribu penye inaweza so tsc kasema labda tuanze na matana tilifu hizo tunaweza siku wakaongeza kwenye taifa leo hata watu walika nyumbani muda mrefu we are still trying to catch up with time eh? kuna cbc which is still being introduced into the kids eh? wali mwenyewe pia bado wanazidi kujinyoosha kwenye masuala ya CBC mgomo haufaa kutokea wakati kama huu hata kidogo Ruto hatoshi mboga sio maneno yangu gazeti la taifa leo kichwa ni Ruto hatoshi mboga hmm. eh alivoelezea rais Uhuru Kenyatta lakini huko ndani jamani ndugu zangu na dada zangu pia ninye, eh twende marimanti tharakanidhi mm-hmm. eti jamaa atemadem kwa kudaiwa mahari ya shilingi milioni moja Yaani <laughs> mi, million. Eh ameenda uh-huh. amemdetude ame ude, ude kwa muda mrefu uh-huh. na umefikia ule wakati wa kwenda kuzungumzia mahari uh-huh. ili aweze kumooa akuta uh-huh. ring on it. Uh-huh. Wakati wa kukaa kwa ile meza ya mahari uh-huh. ameambiwa milioni moja kidogo hiyo itatosha. Million. Huyu msichana tumemsomesha, huyu msichana uh-huh. mrembo hana alama za ovyo maadili yake salama. Huyu ni msichana ataleta baraka kwa boma yenu na familia yenu. Ataleta milioni naye pia. Zaidi. Okay. Huyu analeta zaidi. Tupe tu milioni moja tumalizane. Kwa hivyo atokako huko asha leta hizi milioni. Yes. Wanajua huyu ni productive. Huyu analeta mengi Wana. zaidi ya milioni. Hata kuzalia professors, hata kuzalia doctors, hata kuzalia scientists. Hao ni mamilionea wanataja. Ataheshimisha familia. Okay, hapo kidogo tu. 